Hey, everybody. I don't feel good. <laughs> I don't feel well. It's not even being tired this time. This time I just feel like I'm going to vomit. So let's talk about sex. Because all that quick, rhythmic, smacking of hips. and That's good for a sick stomach. And vaginas are always fun. Because they don't look gross sometimes. You know what I'm talking about? Not to say that vaginas are gross. I'm just saying the dicks are gorgeous. <laughs> so here we go. Because <laughs> uh, it, it was TMI Tuesday when I asked for these. So people were supposed to send in like risque, sexy questions. So uh, first question I got was, ever thought of flavored condoms? Which the reason I really like this question is just because it's asking if I've ever thought about them. Yes, I have. Have you ever thought about flavored condoms? What flavors have you thought about? Um, would you ever use one? Well, the thing about it is, is that I currently don't carry any diseases of any kind, and the person that I'm with or other people I've been with also didn't carry diseases. And the only reason I use condoms is for the sole purpose of not getting anybody pregnant. So I'm not going to make somebody, oh, dad, I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to wear a flavored condom and then have somebody give me a blowjob while I wear that. I don't want them to ever have to taste a condom, ever. Just, <laughs> cats being cute. <laughs> it just, don't, like, no. And did you know those banana flavors? Banana is the worst flavor of anything. Whenever you're eating runts, the first thing you take out is bananas. Whenever you're eating sprees, the first thing you take out is the yellow ones. Whenever you eat beef jerky, you always throw away the banana flavored beef. Because that's gross. Um, how about dildos into using one on another? How about dildos into using one on another? Um, I'm thinking that this question is pretty much asking, how do, how, I gotta reread it. How about dildos into using one on another? How about dildos into using one on another? Is kind of how I'm hearing it in my head. So, I mean, you know, how about that? Uh, I feel like dildos do kind of share the same basic thing that they're trying to do. So I think that they wouldn't mind being used on one another. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they'd combine into one super dildo and then just tag team it. Uh, maybe one's one of them little tiny ones and then the other one can just like hook on there. Or maybe like one is in a butt and then the other one is in a ear canal. Or the Panama Canal, my favorite place to put my penis. But you know, just sure. Sure, how about dildos into using one on another? Uh, last question. Well, actually, I got another one after this. Uh, is it a good idea to wait until marriage to have sex? It seems like the worst idea in the history of ideas. Um, there's nothing actually wrong about waiting until you're married to have sex. I didn't, and I can't do it now. So, you know, it's it really depends on the person, I guess. Because if you're a person who really likes sex, then that's awesome. You know, because you're going to have it, and you're married to your wife, and you're going to be fucking a lot. You're just going to be having it all the time. But if you happen to be one of those people that just doesn't like sex, and you get married to this woman or man that you believe to be like your number one love, and then you just have sex a lot, like, you know, the first time may not always be the most enjoyable. Some people don't like it the first time. But, you know, you just keep having it, and just every time you have it, you go, this is horrible. Like, you know, you may just think that it's your husband or wife's fault. And then you're just going to be like, well, this isn't going to work because we don't have any fuck chemistry. And, you know, since you didn't have any experience beforehand, you don't just know that you don't like it. And so, for me, I'd say, go get your dick on. You know, there's no, just go do it. It, it feels nice. I mean, I prefer you to do it with someone that you like, or at least are dating, but... I can't stop you. You kids nowadays are crazy. You just fuck everybody. Because you got no morals. You damn kids! Oh, back in my day, we'd only fuck people we liked. And now you go around just having sex because you're all drunk and stuff. You can get drunk with people you like. Go get drunk with someone you like. Go have, have the 
have sex with them. Do it. Enjoy it. But, you know, if you don't enjoy sex, then don't ruin it for any... Don't get married. If you don't enjoy sex... I'm going to go ahead and say this. This is going to be a longer video. Don't marry anyone. Unless you want to marry someone who also doesn't like sex. Because the thing about it is that there are people who really like it. And if there was somebody who doesn't like it, you're going to ruin their good time. You're going to ruin their fun. Just do the world a favor. Stay single. Go to bed. Go write a book. Go fly an air book. I don't care. Just leave us alone. We just, because we like the way that it feels. It's good. It's a good thing to have all up on the nuts. Or the, or the, or the, the, on the, on your little clitoris. It's a temple for some reason. That's not right. And, you know, so that's, all of those things are how I feel about sex, just in general. But, yeah, sex before marriage. Works for some, doesn't work for others. I would say, um, have sex before you're married. That way you will know if it was a good or bad idea to have done it. <laughs> it's a stupid thing to say. Uh, very stupid. Uh, somebody asked me sex? Question mark. Uh, and yes. Uh, and then another person said Big Bang Theory, which I feel like they've done that before when they're asking, and I and I did the joke of, I don't know if they're talking about the actual theory or if they're talking about the TV show. But in terms of sex, I would not want to have sex with either. Uh, one you know, sort of started the universe, and I think I'm a little inadequate for that. I mean, it, it's loving is so good, it created the goddamn universe, or the, at least, earth and yada yada, and life as we know it. I can ejaculate. That is the extent of what I can do. Uh, maybe I can make you have an orgasm. At the very, very best, that is what I can do. I can make me and one other person have an orgasm. The Big Bang Theory, it can, it can create life. I can't, well, I mean, technically I could. I could create life via sex. That's how babies work. But not to that level. Like, I'm going to feel so shitty. Um, <laughs> but, oh, but if it's the TV show, then no, fuck no. I wouldn't have sex with the TV show. I'm better than that. I'm better than that TV show. Uh, I don't like that show. I'll post a link to why I don't like that show. Uh, you've all seen it. It's the that show done without the laugh track. It's not a good show. It's not not good at all. I don't. It's not funny. It's just the whole thing around it is us nerds, right? We're so... We're s us nerds, huh? Wow, we us us. I'm gonna, this video is gonna be ten minutes. This is a long video. Who's gonna have to deal with it? Uh, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. It's a stupid thing. It's a bad show. Don't fucking watch it. Also, I'm gonna talk to you guys about supernatural because this has been bugging my nuts for a while. Well, not really bugging my nuts, but I'm I have a theory. Um, all guys that watch supernatural, they don't like Sam. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, ladies, if you know a guy that watches Supernatural, they don't like Sam. Sam sucks. Sam is a bad character. He's a whiny little bitch. Dean. Dean is a man's man. Think about Dean. Think about, he drives the car. All guys want to have the car. All guys who are guys like the whole idea of classic cars and want to like work on cars or something unless you're fucking idiot. Like, I don't know shit about cars, but to be a guy that does, I'd love to do that. But I'm wearing a StarCraft shirt. All I know is how to barely, barely do a, a six-pull Zerg Rush whatever. And that's not even a thing. But Dean is a man's man. And think about all the people that Sam had sex with. Sam's had sex with a demon who was trying to, like, take control of him because he's a stupid whiny bitch. And then he had sex with a werewolf that he had to shoot in the head. Monsters. All these crazy bitches. Dean had sex with the famous actress in the show. Just uh, He fucks some actress, goes into a trailer, comes out and is like, well, I'm done having sex. Also, he's funny and charming and better looking than Sam, which all guys want to be. Sam is a piece of shit. Ladies, you know that it's true. Sam is not a good character. But, you know, because he's all sweet and sensitive, except in the sixth season when he has no soul, he's just a fucking asshole. Buns. He's just bad. Uh, Cassidy goes both ways. Uh, girls and guys both want to fuck Cassidy.
uh, Castiel. Why did I say Cassidy? That's a League of Legends character. Nobody wants to have sex.